What's going on, y'all? Back with another video. Here, getting unloaded. Middlesville, Tennessee. Not too far from the house. So, y'all check this out. That was a tight ass hoist back into it. But, how are y'all doing? Hope y'all having a good week. Getting ready for Thanksgiving, getting ready to head home. Jump in the truck, let me tell y'all what's going on. Alright, y'all, so hope y'all are having a good week. Hope everything's going well for you guys. Hope y'all are out there making some money. So, like I said, we're here in Goodlandsville, Tennessee, uh, not too far from my house. I'm probably like 30 minutes from my house, so getting unloaded. Just picked up this load this morning in Hopkinsville, Kentucky. Brought it here, had a 12 p.m. appointment, they just started unloading me uh, about 20 minutes ago. And, uh, we were supposed to go pick up another load and head to Arkansas, and then Arkansas had another load back to Hopkinsville, and that had me home uh, probably midday on Wednesday. But I'm on my way here, started having some problems with the truck, and I need to go get those looked at. So let's talk about that. <laughs> so real quick, I've been everywhere this week. So kind of my last video I talked about I was supposed to. Uh, last video pretty much you know I'm supposed to start my new job today but we're waiting for the basically for power of attorney um, to be granted from B&G to me giving me permission to have this company that I'm trying to lease on to uh, give them permission to tag the truck so we're waiting on that still waiting on it um, and because of that, you know, I was supposed to just run, I was supposed to drop off in Atlanta, and that'd be it last week. Um, but because of that, pulled a load to Opsaloosa, Opelousa, I think it is, uh, Louisiana, from there went over to Baytown, Texas, picked up a load, going to Kansas City, Kansas, dropped that load, picked up in Harrisonville, Missouri, and from there came to Hopkins. Y'all check this. Y'all check this truck out. Beautiful, beautiful OBS. Hell yeah. <laughs> but picked up that Hopkinsville load. Um, dropped that load in Hopkinsville. Picked this one up this morning. Walmart dropped it last night. Went right down the road. Uh, picked this one up this morning, and then now we're here. And like I said, I was supposed to head to Arkansas. I had to Louisville, then to Arkansas, Arkansas. Um, right around Little Rock, I believe it was, and then come back to uh, Hopkinsville. But, like I said, this thing is pissing air. Uh, I think it's started dragging ass. Uh, you know, I'd hit my brakes, I'd feel my brakes, i see my brakes smoking a little bit. I'm losing a lot of air, so I think, uh, I think it's a brake chamber, because I don't hear it when the truck's, like, when my brakes aren't on. So, we'll have to get that worked out. Um, a speed co not far from my house but they won't be able to get to me until the morning so that kind of sucks but it is what it is if I can get my truck fixed um, early enough they have the same load coming out again tomorrow and again on Wednesday so I might just pull this same load the next couple the next couple days uh, it's really not bad all together well I had a 10 mile deadhead to go pick it up and then about 70 miles here, so I would have roughly 70 mile deadhead, 70 mile trip back. So I'm talking roughly, you know, roughly 140, 150 miles, pays $1,000, um, just under, so it's not bad, but it kind of sucks this happens because I don't want to pull a long load now and then risk not being home for. Uh, Thanksgiving so plus at some point this week I'm if I can get that that paper signed by Charlie and get him to get it back to me so I can get it back to the lease co the company I'm trying to lease on to I could go ahead and, and sign on this week and start Monday so that's just what we're waiting on so just gonna try to keep it close to the house let's get this thing fixed and uh, keep it close and very least take a week off um, 
I was off Wednesday, week back out next Tuesday, so you know, have about a week off. Enjoy some home time, eat some food, all that fun stuff, right? So y'all do check this out. So I'll show y'all. So when I was coming out of uh, Missouri, I stopped at the Oak Grove 70, which is basically like the little sister to the Iowa 80. And of course they have a Chrome shop. Of course I went in the Chrome shop and spent money. But somehow powered through the, the want of spending thousands of dollars and only spent a couple hundred. So I'll show you all I got. I do have them sitting on my bed right now. Um, just because I don't have anywhere else to put my shit. I got me some new mud flaps. Nothing, uh, nothing too fancy. Um, as well as some new mud flap hangers. Fancy chrome ones. Good enough. Um, so, needed those. You know guys probably seen you know my uh well I'll show y'all real quick get out of here and show y'all so these mud flaps I got a while back started tearing and I zip tied them because you know I didn't want to get rid of my Harley mud flaps but then these ones are all worn out and the other side's all bent you've probably seen over there you've probably seen it before it's all bent and whatnot from where our tire blew out so probably got me something to replace it get that all fixed up, get her cleaned up, um, get this, uh, I think it's a brake chamber, get this brake chamber replaced, and then also um, another problem I've been having is I've got excessive water coming out of my, uh, my tanks when I drain my tanks. I'm talking like two or three times a day I'm draining my tanks and getting like, you just thought I poured just a bottle of water on the ground, so a lot more than it should be. Um, you know, people are like, oh, it's condensation. Well, this is a lot of water just for it to be condensation. So, you know, I think I need to change my cartridge or the, or the filter, some people call it, on the, on the air dryer. And hopefully that'll get my issues fixed up. So, we'll do that. Take some time off. Um, clean up the truck. Get her cleaned up inside and out. Get her a good bath. Get those put on. And uh, I guess we'll see what happens when it comes to this new company. This could be my last week um, if I get that paper um, and get everything done by Wednesday. Because, like I said before, they like to like to have you come in and on like a Friday and get all your stuff, um, you know, set up. That way you can start on Monday. Um, this week it'd be Wednesday because of Thanksgiving, but we'll just have to see. Not a big deal, for now, I guess. But uh, they really gotta hurry up because I've got like an hour left on my clock. <laughs> I need to get home. That's alright, I got PC. So, I had to do a split reset, make sure I made everything on time, you know. So, um, so, hope you guys, like I said, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving, eat some good food. Um, here's something I wanted to mention. <laughs> This is something that, uh, you know, I met up with somebody the other day, and we were talking about, you know, you know, why are you really leaving? You know, why are you really leaving? Well, the reason I'm leaving, you know, I've said before, it, it, there really is personal issues that are causing me to leave. Um, now, there are things that USA could have could do that would remedy this. Um, it's not going to happen, though. We already know it. We've already argued about other things and it's just not going to happen but basically you know personal issues but if they had more loads in my area that paid better I could afford to stay home more you know I could afford to still stay at USA but they don't and then another thing is something one of a, another IC found so there's a load it's supposed on another load board under USAT Logistics, which is USA Truck Logistics. It was, I forget exactly what the load paid, but it was like 5000 it was over $5,000 um, for like 146 miles, I think it was. It was under 200 miles and the load was like 
close to fifty five, fifty six hundred dollars. It was crazy high. So it came out to like forty six dollars a mile. It was a killer load. Um, you know, pickup drop same day, and that was on another load board. It was from USA Logistics, USA Truck Logistics. That same load, the exact same load, same pickup and delivery location, same customers, same times, everything was the same except for the pay. That same load was on our load board for $600. That's bullshit. That's what's pissing off a lot of drivers, is they're doing shit like that. $5,000 load, over $5,000 load, but it's on our load board, and you've got it on another load board. If you've got it on our load board, 600 not even 600 bucks that's bullshit so you know it's them doing shit like that that's pissing off a lot of drivers making a lot of people want to leave so you know i've had a lot of people i kind of made a little post on the facebook page usa's facebook page you know um or the ic facebook page you know we all post stuff in there and whatnot basically tell them i was leaving and a lot of people said, yeah, I'm, I'm fixing to leave too. So, a lot of people are on their way out, tired of the stupid shit. Not saying, like I said before, I'll keep saying it. Not saying you can't come over here and make money, but it's shit like that that's pissing a lot of drivers off. We can't give you better pay. We don't have no control over it. Bullshit. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. So, but I will say this, I'm going to mention this real quick. If you guys are looking to save on fuel, got to download Mudflap, and I recommend the TCS fuel card. I recommend both of those. Um, one, Mudflap is free. It's a free app. You don't have to pay for it. Um, it's very simple to use. All you do is set it up, you set you know, your information up with it, you set up with your, your debit or credit card, or you can use put in your, your actual bank information, like your routing and your account number, and you'll get an additional two cents off if you do that. But, you know, when you get to a gas station that accepts some mudflap, um, you can do routing and figure out which, you know, which ones are on your route and whatnot. You get there, you just slide for your little code, you get your little, um, mudflap code, show it to the cashier, and that's how you get paid for it. That's how they pay for it. And, you know, I've saved, I've seen, you know, pretty big savings with it, you know, I'm talking, there's some that I've seen, $54, I've saved on one, on one, not fill up, but getting fuel. I usually don't fill, but, you know, and saving money with it, and it's, like I said, free to use, so if you can just get to the point where you can afford to, like, pay for your own fuel, you know, because it kind of sucks the first week you do it because you've had your fuel come out for last week where you used a company card, and then you're trying to pay for it out of pocket yourself, so, like, it's kind of, like, double um, for, like, for, like, that one week, but it's worth it, you know, even if you're saving 100, only saving, like, $150, that's still $150. If you did that every week, you know, that's $600 a month you'd save. And that adds up. So, and that's just a mud flap. Uh, with TCS, I've seen, you know, I've seen upwards of, you know, 60 cents off a gallon. With mud flap, I've seen upwards of 45 cents off a gallon. And, you know, like I said, both these are free. Um, if you use TCS, there's different ways to load money on it. I use Zelle. Zelle is what works best for me. Um, that just depends if your bank does Zelle. I use uh, U.S. Bank, so they do, they use Zelle, so it works out for me. But, you know, I've saved quite a bit of money. You know, on average, I've been saving, like, close to $200 a week in fuel. Um, like I said, and with both of them being free, you know, and the cents off per gallon I've seen, it's definitely worth it. So, and it raises my question... So why can't USA give us better discounts? Because I can use both these. Um, I can use the Mudflap app, and then I can use the TCS fuel card. Neither of which are costing me anything. The only time I think TCS costs you if you use it out of route. But if you're going to use it out of route, you might as well either 
pay for it yourself or use USA's fuel card. Um, but, you know, so that's not really an issue. But other than that, it's free. So it's like, if both these are free, not costing me a dime to use, and I'm saving, you know, over 50 cents a gallon at times, usually about 30 cents. I'm usually saving about 30 cents a gallon. But why can't USA give us better discounts? To that same broken record, oh, we, we can give you better fuel discounts, but it's got to come for your percentage. So, but, you know, that's the same bullshit we've already preached about. So, just uh, a little advice there, you know, at the very least, get mud flap. It does help out. Um, there was a place the other day I saved. Um, well, I can't remember how much I saved. If I could pull it up on my phone, I'd show you guys. But um, I paid only two ninety five a gallon for fuel. Not bad. So, but that's about it, you guys. We're about to get out of here. Um, I think this guy finally has our paperwork we're fixing to get on. We're just going to go and go to the house, and then in the morning I'll take the truck to the shop and get it fixed. So, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys have a great day. Like, share, subscribe. Or you get on home and you guys have a great Thanksgiving. Peace out.